I feel like I want to use this green. Shock horror. Do I, I want to use the green? Or maybe I should use the blue. Like I could easily do something that I always do or I could try something new, which will take longer. Uh, put all the colors on. I'm gonna go in with the mustard shade. We'll start with something. We need to get this ball a rolling. You can pull the microphone closer to you. You don't need to be up on it. Uh-huh. Frida says Pat McGrath put several mothership on 40% off. Yeah, well, who's shocked? You know, that's a PR list that I used to desire to be on. And I know that I'll never be on it because I have done irreversible damage to my reputation as a Pat McGrath. Your stand. reputation? Not that. Not copyrighted materials uh, on my channel. Just created that. You wrote Delicate by Taylor Swift? Yes. I'm an official. Said, what's the adjustment period been like living together? We are the best, apparently, and so in sync on our stories. Tiffany and I are pretty open communicators. And so it did not take very long for us to adjust. I think the thing that was the most difficult and that was the one thing that we couldn't account for at, between us was the child and the dog interacting and what that might look like. But they're friends now. That was easily the most stressful thing. And it, it was realistically a stress that was, I don't know, 36 hours. Yeah. Not even a full 48. It was just like the initial introduction was really chaotic and I don't think either of us could have been prepared for that mm. it just sort of was what it was like rides the sweetest dog of all time we're super lucky that this is like Gideon's first dog experience but Riot is silly excitable just gets litty as a titty or very little so getting her to a place where she's not used to seeing me regularly but also used to seeing the small human regularly she doesn't respond as you know, big as she wants it, and we kind of worked out a system. But that was truly, I agree, the most difficult. We have been planning this since, like, January. That was, like, when the decision yeah. was made. And so we had just had so many conversations about things ever since then that I think really made it a smooth transition. But, like, you know, there's always that fear when you're moving in with a good friend. Like, what's the period on this? But I think... We're both in our we're both in our thirties and we're both humans committed to bettering ourselves. There's like a lot of open conversation about like what's going on with us personally, like and how that might affect our relationship interpersonally as the days go by. So I don't think that we have a lot to fear, but like if we did this in our twenties, I'm sure this would be a disaster. Uh, uh -huh. Well we're yeah. both we're both self aware, but also can speak our needs and the other person is not offended. But sometimes we'll be hanging out and then someone will leave the room and then just be in their room and they're, I don't take, like, neither one of us takes offense to that. It's just like, okay, they need to go be by themselves. I guess I also would have thought for myself that there would be a bigger transition period for me whenever the child is with us. It does not feel like, my, it doesn't, didn't feel, didn't feel like that was a very hard transition for me, which would have, I would have expected otherwise a few years ago. I said to my coworkers today that I'm never living with a romantic partner again. I'll happily live alone first after this. I will ne I like truly don't see myself living with someone in a traditional sense literally ever again. I've never tried it, so. I'm disinterested. I don't know that I'm actually interested. Mincy, did you get it yet? Did you get the Pat McGrath bronzer? If so, how is it? Because I feel like I've only heard Kaki talk about it and she was unimpressed. More like just whelmed. I don't know if I'm destined for partnership. I don't know that I am either, but that's a conversation for another time. Well, yeah, you're, you're very much on that journey right now, figuring that. Well, I was kind of offended. By me? No. no. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm constantly offended. <laughs> okay. You said, said my biggest struggle being around children has always been trying not to say bad words. words. Yeah, yeah, same. I'll, I'll let you know how that plays back. back. I really joked whenever Tiffany was pregnant that that child's first word would be the F slur. Did we decide on the blue or the green? We said the blue. blue. Don't, don't even try. try. Ellie, I believe that you should buy them for That's 40%. Okay, everyone got the... Should I get the... No, I'm not going to get the Pat McGrath bronzer. Do not buy the Pat McGrath bronzer. I don't know. They're making me feel less out. It's not is real. But I don't... I feel like I only feel it in makeup. People doing whatever they want with their lives doesn't seem to have the same effect on me. The one size setting spray debacle that I'm holding on TikTok? No. Uh, Are you on makeup TikTok? To hell to the no. Miss Madison oh. uh, was showing me some. Madison is Tiffany's coworker. Correct. And it looked like 
baby powder was just coming out of the canister. Like, like this person's face was entirely white, like, like covered in powder. So is it supposed to be like a mattifying spray? I don't know. That would I don't be my know anything guess. except, except that, that there were multiple TikToks that were showing, showing like this crazy white powder. Paul asked if we still work in Sephora, and the answer is no. No, 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 no. I have I have a why I quit Sephora video from from the air, huh? I think I feel some type of way the fact that I don't know how to use the fountain pen. Have you tried using a fountain pen? No. no. Kelly wants to know what glue that is. I don't oh, remember. It's, is that Midnight Sun? I'm using the Pat McGrath Midnight Sun palette. For anyone who's just like hopping in, all of this makeup that I'm using tonight was selected on my Instagram. I did a couple polls. Pat McGrath Midnight Sun. That's why I like we're talking about Pat McGrath. Well, I guess we're also kind of talking about one side. Speaking to you, setting sprays. A lot of mattifying setting sprays have powder in them. That's what's <gasps> mattifying the skin. Yeah. So a lot of times if you don't shake them well, and I get, I, he uses continuous sprayers for his spray products. I love that. So I don't, I don't know if it would be the same, but I bet it says shake well and people he aren't. Shaking it well. And sometimes when it comes to like those setting sprays, because whenever Urban Decay released their matte setting spray, that happened to people where they were spraying their face and it was just covered in powder. And I'm not saying that's the fault of the consumer. I often am surprised whenever I read that shake well on all of my foundations. I'm like, I never, but they all say shake well. Every single, I, every last one of them. That's, that's something, something that I will do reliably. Now, now did I forget that, that I was supposed to shake the milk makeup setting spray? I did. Yes, yes despite, despite it very visibly looking like something that It's by shake. face. I like that we're, we're now on pen. I love that. I have so many journals that I did not write in because, well, one, I'm lazy, two, my hand cramps, and then I don't think I have my Smith pens for it. You tell me all the time to use the things. So. What things? Everything. Everything. When, when I'm, I'm like, like, oh, I don't want to use it. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to really like, buy to use it. Just fucking use it. That's time on that, everyone. <laughs> Whoa, there's a bug. Yes, use here. Someone's a little bit confused about who's the mask in this relationship, and it's not supposed to be me. I think that we should be using fancy things for banal reasons. That's why fancy people use fancy things. I don't think tea is fancy, it's just a drink, but they make a whole time for it. You know what I mean? Now, now discussion of Japanese stationery. Michelle Wong talked about it like one time for a hot second, and I was like, if she keeps going, I'm gonna wanna buy something, and I can't participate. That's, That's what, what I mean. There's, There's some things, things I don't want to know about. Keep me yeah. out of this. I would like to be removed from this narrative, yeah, please. Yeah, it's not my business. Have you ever had late afternoon tea? I don't like tea, so I wouldn't participate. I have been in New York a couple of times with a friend who would definitely want to get tea, do the high tea, do fancy tea. And I, I say, no. But oftentimes, mostly because I don't want to dress however that establishment would expect me to dress in a fancy situation. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I have I have big problems with dress codes. They're like classist. Well, they <laughs> like uphold gender, gender norms. That also. Well, time. that's like my a my biggest time. problem. But like also, it's just like I don't. Why do I have to dress a certain way to like be Somewhere. in your establishment? Sure. Yeah, it's like doesn't make sense to me. This is so good. Oh, <laughs> a little, little night makeup, makeup did point out that there's usually champagne. champagne so. Oh. I will drink champagne. It's like not, it's not what I'm heading to. But now that I know that there is champagne, I, there's a higher likelihood that I would participate. <laughs> I, would I would try it. it. There's a place in Wheeling, West Virginia that does I tea. Know there is. So, <laughs> so technically I went there, but, but it didn't, didn't feel like anything. anything. It, it felt, felt like, like we were at a cafe. cafe. Everyone, Everyone is very, very into this eye look. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Good. I'm just going on a journey. This is the copper that's right above the blue. Also, people, people are randomly saying cut down. down so. <laughs> She was, she was like, like what, what were they yelling, yelling at you about? <laughs> 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 is it Steven? Is Steven saying Padam? No. no Paul. Paul and Minsu. Are you ever going to delete your grinder account? Promise that shit. You can't make those sandwiches at home. I watched Brittany Broski do it. And that's my bar barrier <laughs> for any task. Is, did Brittany Broski do it? Did she, she can do it anyway. If she can, not to say that Brittany Broski is not a capable human, but like, you know, she doesn't take too much too seriously. <laughs> And that the slice loon sloon. I've never used the gold in this palette. Never? I'm like feeling it. I'm, I'm <laughs> the fantasy like, is being felt. Yeah, normally that doesn't happen too doesn't happen too often anymore when I'm doing my eyes. Normally it happens when I put on like flush now. Like that's oh, when I imagine a blush. 
I can't imagine such a beautiful thing. I'm getting sexy butterfly. I don't know that that's wrong. Uh, the Dom, Dom is, is Kylie Minogue's, Minogue's most, most recent single. Who's, who asked that? I'm going to take this shade and do something with it. I don't know what, but we'll figure it out. Chana? Chana? I don't know. Chana? Chana. Listen, I'm talking about the can. Just drop the ch. You can do Hana. They they had a whole thing on their Instagram I'm about. I'm so sorry. They said, Tom, don't be mad at me, but I only know who Kylie Minogue is because of BBC Ghosts. They're young. I don't, what is BBC's Ghosts? Oh, that's a whole thing. Celebrities talk about ghosts. That's the, that's it? That's the tweet? Yeah. Did I miss the Madame Madame talk? It's hard to even read the song title and not burst into singing. Uh, so last night I was yelling at Tiffany because they refused to participate in Madame culture. And I said, that's why you're miserable this morning. <laughs> Well, and, it, and then you did also make, make... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, my my God. God. I'm I'm wrong. Wrong. oh, oh my God, I'm completely wrong. It's about a woman who hits her head and can see ghosts in this B&B she's inherited. Not, not at all what I was thinking. Is that that Sarah... No, what's her name? Didn't that one 90s star have a ghost show where she could see ghosts? That, that was... <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> I think. But I, but I thought it was like a horse, horse thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tom rightly accused me of forcing them to learn words, words to hit different by Taylor Swift when, when they've like, like not, not really, really listened to the song at, at all on their own, own and, and yet they, they had the chorus of the song stuck in their head. All the time. It yes, is really good. I know a lot of Taylor Swift music by circumstance at this point, not by choice. And I'm not saying that that Taylor Swift music is bad. We've already talked about Taylor Swift a lot on my channel <laughs> at this point. But it's just like, you can listen to Badam if I, I know almost the entire I, I discography. I think this is where the eyes are, for now, we're going to stop the eyes. For good, at least once a day. I don't know anything about that show. I only know the Glee versions, which is <laughs> which is atrocious. That's an atrocity. I'm so sorry. The only thing I sing from Wicked is like the thing that Meatball does all the time. Oh, uh, that part. Oh, uh, you know, I will go so far and say that some Glee versions are better than the real ones. I feel like that's a commonly held opinion, though. Uh, I don't think by people who didn't watch Glee. Also, I only watched the first three seasons of Glee. I, I, I did not commit to the, the whole entirety of it. Unpopular um, opinion. I love the turkey lurkey, let's have a kiki mashup. <laughs> and I sing it every Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's so bad, but it's so good. It's so bad that it's good. Anna said that they skip the music when watching Glee. They watch for the plot. Camp the Anna Kendrick movie? I have seen that. If that's what you're talking about, I have seen it. I just got a text from Kaki saying serving cunt. I don't know if she's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. It is like this independent film. It's like the first film that Anna Kendrick was in. And it's like, it had, they sing in it and like Anna Kendrick's character, I mean like spoiler alert, like poisons the lead <laughs> in the musical at the summer camp program so that she can be the lead. And that's like only, that's a subplot. Like that's not the main plot. It's like just one of many plots in that film. Camp is exactly what performing arts camp is. Yeah, the reason I never got into like musical theater in high school is because I just knew all those people from band and I was like, I think I'm good. What's unspoken, the people who are the most insufferable in like the theater, like high school theater, I'm not trying to say like in the real theater world, are the people who like the, who do the sets and stuff? The people who wear all black and move things around, they're the inseparable ones. Can someone confirm or deny if I'm echoing? Sounds like you're God responding over a school loudspeaker. <laughs> I just put way too much concealer on. I wasn't paying attention, and for some reason, my muscle memory went back to whenever I would do like drag makeup. Y'all are very polite for not saying anything. Yeah, you could have easily said something. Now we're like so self conscious about it. We're like, I guess we should stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's both Padam season and the Givenchy concealer season. <laughs> I here's the thing. It's a it's a very nice concealer. It is. Is it? I just I don't know. I get. I have a real problem like recommending hyped up products because it's just like it's never. It's I just don't think that anything's ever gonna be like good enough for that. You know, I have a lot of products that I really love, but just like when everyone loves them, here's something we can do live. I have two new contour products. 
for my contour video. Um, and we can pick right here right now. I think I can make a pool. Can I do that? I have the Victoria Beckham contour stick. And I also have the Milk Makeup contour stick. Which one would you like to use? The Victoria Beckham contour stick. This is it. Okay. And I actually would have bought this probably whether or not anyone asked me to. And not just because it's a Victoria Beckham product. I'm going to tell you why. When I first got into makeup, Burberry, like the luxury brand, had a, had a makeup line. I guess they still do, but I don't think they make this product anymore. They had a contour wand. And that was the first thing I bought to contour. And it was little like this and probably just as expensive as this. It was my favorite thing. And I went through like three of them. Also, I think what they should do if they aren't going to do this, they should make this refillable because like the packaging on this is like, it's pretty luxe. It's not like super weighted, but it's like metal. I don't know. It feels like something that could stand the test of time. It does look like it's an eyeshadow stick. I think there's less product in this than there is in the eyeshadow sticks from Victoria Beckham. We're gonna go with the Victoria Beckham then. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, you'll you'll see all. There's gonna be a whole video. So if you if you didn't if we didn't get to the one that you wanted today, you'll see it eventually. Here's what we're going in with. This is the shade. Well, maybe I doesn't say. Oh no, Tavern Teen. It doesn't. It looks warm. It looks like it's gonna be a bronze tour. Wasn't Isamaya the beauty director of Burberry? Is that true? I think. I think she was. I don't know if it was at the time that I was buying my Burberry stuff, but it's possible. She's also worked with Tom Ford and Byredo. Byredo is like the most recent one. And like, I feel like that's the one that she had like the biggest hand in recently because wasn't her face in one of those palettes, one of those big palettes, like her face was coming out of it. I mean, it applied really nicely and it blended out very nicely, but it's, I think it's, I think it's exactly what I thought. It's what I remember the Burberry one being. It's like very subtle. I used to wear just like this very sheer concealer from Burberry as well with the contour stick. And it was like my favorite thing. It was like my favorite thing. And it was, I loved it. Yeah, the, it does look like it. It really does look like an eyeshadow stick. I don't know that this is meant for, you know, people who contour like super heavily. I'm also not taking it in my beard because I don't wanna, I, I usually do that with contour. I'm not gonna do that with this today. Cozy, exactly. What is it about brand directors that make them think we want giant blown out pictures of their face on our makeup? Thinking of Huda. Oh my God, those um, sculpting face so palettes, funny. they were scary. Huda really thinks a lot of herself and thinks that her opinion means a lot. It's very subtle, but it, it, you know, it blended out very nicely. It's like, it was really nice for nose contour, but is anyone gonna buy a product specifically for nose contour? These are things I do not know. I also have a cream bronzer to use today. It's the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I've used this once because I didn't want it to be the first time I, on camera, I didn't want it cam on camera to be like the first time I used it. So I used the big ass brush that me and Khaki both, well, I bought because of Khaki, the BK105. I thought, okay. So I think I'm gonna try using a, my Sonia G uh, Classic base, something a little more dense. I know a lot of people really love this. I'm I'm not getting it. Like, I'm not quite understanding why we all love this, meaning I guess the people who do love it. Like I knew it was going to be subtle, but like I don't I feel like I can't see it. Plants with J wants to know acknowledges that you don't do duo products, but would you be interested in the Patrick Todd bronze? So I swatched, there are a couple of Bronzer and contour, there we go. I, I'm gonna be brave and bold. I like don't give a flying fart about Patrick Ta's brand. Like it does zero things for me. And I've had a couple like Natasha Denona cream and powder situations and it, it kind of gives me the ick. And also seeing people's like like very many months used versions of them it kind it gives me the ick i don't know and also i i don't understand like applying the powder first i have this feeling i'm going to people are going to be like the bronzer actually looks way better than when you normally do bronzer cuz it's so subtle i like i don't know i like my bronzer to be visible patrick ta is just charlotte in more sleek packaging and slower turnout I don't know that I disagree with that. What color is the soft sculpt? This is in the shade light. Which I assume would be the right one for me. Min I thought Minsu left. <laughs> Minsu came back to 
to, to say justice, <laughs> justice for Glamorous. I came back from the void to stand Glamorous. I don't watch a, a lot of TV, meaning, where are you going, Minsu? Are you having like, are you being like a young like, person out? Wednesday. Don't judge them. No, no I'm, I'm not. I was going to go I'm not. a stranger's porch and drink beer. I will not cast a stone. Oh, okay. Is that our job? We're busy watching all 43 seasons of Survivor. So if you can give us... And it is a full-time job. It is, it is. And we only have maybe two episodes a day to commit to it. So we'll get to Glamorous when we get to Glamorous. It'll be canceled and off the platform by the time we get around to it. I would love to see you roast the Allure Best of Beauty picks. I think Kelly Gooch does a really good job of it. I mean, I would be, I guess, probably like sassier than Kelly Gooch. But here's the thing. When I I downgraded critical critical sass used to be twice a month. I used to do it two times a month. I would do a pre recorded one and then I would do the live one at the end of the month. And then I just there haven't I don't there's there's so little that comes out that I feel like is worth commenting on because it's like I don't think that it's like very like I, just, I think it's just so extremely boring that it's like it's like not worth any of our times to like lose our breath over so so like me doing the lore best of beauty it's gonna be all stuff that i wouldn't have picked because i don't care about it would probably be what the end result would be oh my god logan's child was in pittsburgh for 14 oh i did i did know that she brought me a shirt that said lesbians i love that um so so sad i did not go to that show this is phosphine from Rachel Defee, their rare light luminizer. I literally can't stop. Oh wait, about how I blush. Didn't go to that show. I didn't put on blush. Oh my god, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna put makeup on over the powder. It's gonna be fine. Smolder was the blush that one from Fido Surgeons. Amy, tickets sold out literally immediately before I was going to just break down and purchase one, and then they were going for place face value. We had a you had some real issues with concerts, but that was the first day your child started daycare. It was, and I was not. Well. It was that okay. was such an emotionally taxing day. Also for the child, also for him. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot for it everyone. Lot. It was a big day. It was a big day. <laughs> she caught Julian's guitar pick. Ugh. Julian's hot. Julian is so hot. Julian is really hot. It's fucked up. Tiffany saw Taylor Swift a couple weeks ago. I didn't. I did, I did everything, everything within my power to try. To I wasn't. That was not a so slate. That, that, that was not a slate at you. No, no I, I know, know, but it just did not. It did not come. Together. It did not come to fruition. Minsu's Uber is taking forever to get. <laughs> did my nails go with my makeup? No, but that's okay. I don't think they have to. I don't think they do either. I got, I got to be there. I was at a funeral. <laughs> that's right. I was. Well, Tiffany was having the time of their life. Ew, Ew Paul. I don't know. Not, Not that, that I saw. People, people just went, went to the bathroom, bathroom during the interviews. What was said? Paul just said that people they was like, like are, are people, people wearing diapers to like, People are strategically picking when to go buy merch during certain parts. Yeah, of people that. were going through the ten minute version of all too well. It's my fault that Tiffany likes Taylor Swift. It's true. It is your fault. You said you need to spend some time with this. You'll really like it. I was I was right. You were right. I also did. I, like, interacted, interacted sparingly. If, if you're home alone and someone rang your doorbell, that's not your business. Turn off your lights. You're expecting anything. <laughs> turn off your lights and hide. If you didn't know that someone was coming to your place, that is not your business, babe. That was Max Whirl on the lips. And I think that's the look, everyone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Back to the pen conversation. It is a bunch of pens. Sorry for the echo. Sorry that we also found out halfway through and then got quiet. <laughs> Thank you for helping me pick out my makeup. Also, thank you for saying to use the blue. And then I proceeded to just use all of the baked shades in the Pat McGrath palette. Which was a mood. I do love this palette. And I forgot that. And I was reminded tonight. I think it's time for us to depart. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. And then I will see you. I'm going to post on Saturday instead of Friday this week. To follow your host. You'll find me. I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye. Yeah. I can't find the end stream button.